notice that the injection pump is totally disconnected to just provide vital. That was with no fuel pump. So let me turn the fuel pump on. Okay. Fuel bottle is starting to get a little low here, but before it empties, I'm going to give this a shot with the throttle linkage on. So it seems that it's definitely running rich. So it seems like it runs better with no fuel at all, um, or at least no no throttle action on the injection pump than with fuel. So now I've shut the fuel off. It's probably been flooded. I can open this up and let some more air in, and I think that that seems to help. And I'm trying to get it a little off idle to let some air in. So maybe that's what I need to do. interesting the way at the end there it started to actually sound good um, I wonder if that was when it was starting to lean out or freshen up a little bit um, I'm thinking that maybe I'll take the boot off so I can get a little bit more fresh air in there so it's not having to go through the filter um, and I'll put some more fuel uh, it's probably been a one of the longest videos I've ever taken, four and a half minutes. You see my fuel level got all the way down there. It's my bottle for my pump. Definitely think I want to keep the um, keep the charging on there. So it seems that we're definitely getting too much fuel from the injection pump. Uh, looks like we might have a little leak right there too um what else 
Now this is interesting, we've got some water dripping out over here. So, piers got a leak in the coolant system there. It's no big deal. No surprise because heck, it's not even tightened up. And that's this coolant that's running to the injection pump. Got to tighten that up if that's going to be of any use. And so this here is the, the coolant loop down there, and I guess it's it's running up there to the injection pump, and that also is loose right here. But the good thing is we're getting some water through there, and I need to put some more in because the there are several leaks, including the heater core uh, is leaking on the inside of the car.